Consul General of Azerbaijan. It's uh, such a pleasure uh, to host today this photographic exhibition and to have here our great photographer, Etubar Jafar, who came all the way from Azerbaijan. I'd like to recognize uh, Consul General uh, from Bolivia, my dear friend Marco Omigandi is the president of the Zoroastrian Federation of the of Northern America. <laughs> many community members and many friends. Thanks for being here uh, with us. Um, so today, April 18th, is a special day internationally. Today is an international day for monuments and sites, or shortly World Heritage Site Day, actually, recognized by UNESCO since 1980s. And Azerbaijan has several World Heritage Sites, uh, and um, so we uh, couldn't bring those monuments to you, but we brought some <laughs> photos, uh, and uh, one of them, uh, this World Heritage Site, is the uh, world famous uh, Old Town of Baku. Oh. So, or they called, uh, well, uh, Walled City, Walled Fortress. So it's a, um, beautiful part of Baku and the the uh, in, during the world that's actually what Baku was. Um, that's why um, I think this is very fits very well with the with this day with this special international day. Um, and I'd like to give you some information about Etibar Jafaro. So he started doing photography in 2006 uh, as a professional <coughs> photographer, and over this past period he has photographed all the regions and cities of Azerbaijan. It's modern architecture, museums, historical monuments, uh, landscape, people's traditions, a lifestyle, and ancient history in general of the country. And as a result, a very rich collection of photos uh, reflecting the many, many different aspects of Azerbaijan has been created. And some of his photos have been published in a book entitled Natural and Cultural Heritage of Azerbaijan. Uh, in 2014, he became one of the winners of the competition Food Photography held in France. In 2012, he reached after the finals among 83,000 photographers from around the globe at a, at a, a competition called HIPAA Street Photography Competition in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. In 2014, he was awarded the Golden August Award at the Photographer of the Year event uh, of Azerbaijan Photographers Association. So he created a large database of very beautiful pictures and actually has also a lot, um, spent a lot of time taking pictures of di different religious sites and mosques and churches and uh, synagogues and others in Azerbaijan. Just 2,000 mosques were photographed by Etiba. <laughs> so even those in the remotest villages of Azerbaijan, the very ancient religious sites. And the um, photos which we show today reflect Etibar's works for many, many years. And I'd like to show you some. Uh, Olan avarlarda meyve yoktu meyve. Biz o kanallara çoklu meyve yaparmıştık ama o meyvelerin içinde dağlar bunları götürdüler çünkü birinci defa gördüler ya da az gördüler. Ve onlar bilmediler onu nece giysin. Biri bunu bir artta maksiyeti, biri çiftliyirdi. Biz de onu test çekti. Biz de ben onu baştan test çekmeye çünkü çok güzel kadar var olacak. Uh, this is the village of the pomegranates, and some of them just spited the pomegranate. Actually, we're supposed to cut it and then eat it. <laughs> and that was very interesting, and that's, uh, and that's uh, when I took uh, those photos. Yeah, uh, going there to take some photos. Uh, I saw this man. Uh, he's actually a shepherd uh, from Azerbaijan, but he, he is a, a little different because he's uh, we uh, wearing the Ray-Ban sunglasses. He also had uh, the cowboy hat, uh, but it's not there. Yeah, he's wearing jacket actually. Because... <laughs> 
uh, and uh, this is uh, one of my uh, street photo uh, photos that I uh, submitted to that uh, competition. <laughs> New book. Uh, this is Baku. Uh, O iş çetin olduğuna göre keşçinin yavaş yavaş fotoğrafı. Um, for the picture with the Milky Way, did you use a special lens to capture both the stars and the Many places that I have been and many places that I want to see now.